This morning will be a little different than other Sundays at Madison Church because I want to take a little, uh, I want to take some time here this morning to talk to you about an opportunity that you have to serve together with Madison Church in 2022. Uh, we have taken two groups as a church down to Mexico in the last three years to, with an organization called One Mission uh, to build a house. And so this is the group we took in 2018. It was mostly uh, youth group students. And uh, we went down and we built a house in, in May and June of 2018. And then just in 2020, uh, before the world fell apart that year, we made it down to Mexico in January with a group of adults. And we ended up working on, on three different houses uh, on that trip. And I want to invite you guys to be a part of the third group to go down to Mexico to build a house with Madison Church. And uh, we're going to go in June of 2022. And I'll, I'll talk to you a little bit about why. June, uh, the first week of June isn't, isn't the time I would pick to go to Mexico on this trip. I'd probably be looking at the last week in July or August. But where we go in Mexico gets so unbearably hot <laughs> during those months uh, that, that they won't even take groups across for build trips. And so this is kind of the, the last week it's available when school is not in session is, uh, is where we go, why we go right here, uh, right after Memorial Day, uh, the last day of, of May into June. And so this is when we're going to go. It's about 10 months from now, and I want to tell you a little bit about the trip. We're headed to Porto Penasco. Here's a map of Mexico, and Porto Penasco, where we go, straight south of Phoenix. It's right up here on the fingertip of the Gulf of California. Uh, it is 60 miles across the border into Mexico, and uh, one great thing about the location where we go is that it is so close to the border that that makes it, uh, the trip quite a bit safer for us. In addition, uh, this town, uh, Porto Penasco, is also called Rocky Point, is a vacation destination uh, for many people in Phoenix and Tucson. It is their closest beach. Uh, so there are plenty of people who go across the border here, uh, plenty of, of uh, Americans or gringos, if you will, um, who, who go there. And so it, it adds, it makes it a safe trip. Now, what will make this trip different than the first two that we've done is that there are two tracks to this trip. Uh, there's going to be a youth group side of the trip and then also an adult and family side of the trip. And so regardless of your age, you can come along with us to Mexico, uh, but there'll be two different trips going simultaneously. Um, track one would be our youth group side. And this is a 10-day trip where we drive down in vans and sleep on church floors to rough it a little bit. It cuts down on the cost. And also, if you're a teenager, that kind of travel is really fun. And if you're not a teenager, that kind of travel maybe isn't as much fun uh, to you. But uh, we had a blast doing this in 2018. It really is a good time. Uh, but it means more than 50 hours in a van. And, uh, and uh, four or five nights, depending on a church floor. And so if you can, if you can do that, then, then track one is for you. Uh, we could use a sponsor or two to go with us if you're interested in that, but this is mostly for our teenagers. Uh, we will rent a van to go down in. Uh, this is a picture of the van we went in in 2018. And you may notice that that van is partially buried in a on a dirt road in northwest Kansas. And so I guess that's one of the things I want to tell you is because one of the benefits of going on the third trip with Madison Church is we have learned from all the mistakes that we, read I, that I made on the first two. And uh, one of them being this moment where I was stuck for three hours in northwest Kansas on a dirt road. And I, I don't want to throw anybody under the bus, but Caden Reinhardt was my navigator in the passenger seat. Okay. <laughs> And, uh, and we did get stuck, uh, but it, it, we rent a big van. It's very comfortable. It's more comfortable than the bench seat church vans that I rode in to Mexico when I was a teenager, and we'll take a luggage trailer. This is, uh, this is just a picture of me being rescued. Uh, the, the wreckers for the tow companies, two of them came out and just turned around and left because they said there's no way they're going down there, so we had to get a sheriff's deputy with a plot book uh, to get a local a neighbor farmer to come rescue us. Um, but the inside of the van is uh, comfortable and nice. It is not the worst place to spend 55 hours on a trip. Uh, 
That's track one. Track two is for adults and families. And so this is a lot like the trip we took in 2020. Uh, you can make this trip short if you want. Uh, including travel, you could do this trip in, in just six days, from June 1st to June 6th. Uh, so what you would do is travel down to Phoenix on your own. You could drive there or you could fly there. And then meet us, meet the youth group trip there in Phoenix, and we'll cross the border together and do work together on houses in Mexico. Uh, then on the way back, you can leave from Phoenix or, or, or do other things. And one advantage that this side of the trip has is very flexible. Uh, you could add to the trip on the beginning or the end from Phoenix, uh, uh, very close to places like uh, Los Angeles and San Diego and Las Vegas. Don't know why you'd want to go there. Um, but uh, you, could, you have that flexibility. And you can accompany us on uh, track one on some of the fun activities that we have planned in Arizona when we're coming out of Mexico. And I'll talk about those in a minute. Um, when we go into Mexico, when we cross the border to Puerto Penasco, we stay at One Mission's base camp, they call it. And so One Mission, the group we go with, has a property, and on this property there, uh, there are many buildings, but there are bunk houses, there's a, like a basketball court, a pool, a dining hall. It, it's kind of like a church camp setting, okay? But it's nicer than church camp. And so the bunk house holds maybe 50 people each for in the men's and women's bunk separately. And then um, there are, are restrooms and showers. Uh, it's, very, it's very nice. Uh, here, you can see that the base camp is a little bit outside of the city. And so you're not staying in the city of Puerto Penasco. It's something that also makes the trip a little more safe. And here's a fun thing. All these three hearts here in Puerto Penasco, those are the three... Uh, the three locations where we've worked on houses uh, in Porto Penasco. So th those are places where Madison Church has built a house for a family in Porto Penasco. And we're going down there to work on more. Uh, at base camp, uh, usually the main room we use is the dining hall. Here's our 2018 group getting oriented before we went out for construction the first day. This is where we eat our food. There is a pool on the base camp, and that is a lot of fun. And one of the best parts about the whole trip is the food. And you just ask anybody who has gone down with us, the food is incredible. Uh, they have one mission staff who prepares food for us, and then a lot of families who are volunteering uh, hours to be in line for a, to have a house built for them will be serving in the kitchen uh, at, at one mission. They'll be preparing food for us. And uh, if you just went there for the food alone, you would not be wasting your money. It is a uh, fantastic culinary experience. Uh, it really is great. Uh, we've never had any trouble with illnesses uh, from the food that we've eaten at One Mission. Uh, here's, here's one mistake we did learn from, is we did have some trouble when we ate at a restaurant that was not at One Mission and uh, had some trouble with that on the 2020 trip. Uh, but we won't make that mistake again, and we've learned our lesson. Um, uh, but we're not there just to swim in the pool and eat good food. We're going there to build a house for a family and do some work. And this is uh, what that looks like a little bit. Uh, we will work for three days building a house. And the reason we go is because the families who we'll be partnering with live in very uh, poor conditions. This is Fernando's house. He's uh, the man. Uh, we built a house for a man and his son the first time we went down in 2018. This is where they were living. It was just a very, uh, very dilapidated camper. And... Um, the conditions that they were living in were not good, and uh, his son, Ricardo, uh, was in the hospital having brain surgery while we were there. It would have been a very poor place for somebody to recover from something like that. Uh, and so this is, this is where we found uh, him living. Uh, this is a house next to the one that we built in uh, 2020. I'll just show it to you because it's a very typical house for what you'll see in Puerto Penasco. It is just kind of patched together with random pieces of wood. There are just sheets of metal run beam to beam, uh, slanted on the ceiling. And then you'll see there uh, the wall on your left-hand side is just a tarp uh, hanging down. And so this is the way that a lot of families are living in Puerto Penasco. And, uh, and it's, it's what we're there to help. This is actually a picture from inside the second family we helped in, in 2020. We're living in a house constructed out of pallets. Uh, wrapped in tar paper, the kind that would go under shingles on your roof. And it was a dirt floor. 
And so this is, this is the conditions these people are living in, and this is a reason why we're partnering with One Mission and why, why we would go down there to, to build a house for them. Uh, so we go down there and, and get to work. Now, in 2018, uh, One Mission was using a little different model. We built a wood structure house, a wood-framed house, and, and one group built a house in one weekend. And, uh, but since then, in 2019, One Mission changed their house profile. So now it's much nicer. It's a foam, um, a foam, form, foam block formed concrete building. And, and then we go from there. And four groups complete a house in four weeks. And so uh, this is our 2020 group uh, getting to work on the first day, working on the finish on the inside of the walls. Um, and uh, what else are we doing here? Oh, here's the second house we were working on. We were doing stucco on the outside. And so there are, there's just all kinds of work to do. And there is work for you. No matter uh, if you, you don't know anything about carpentry like me, you can still go do work and be helpful on that job site. Uh, and if, uh, if, you're, if you're twice as old as I am, like Randy, right, you can still find something to do there. Uh, and, and you can be a very helpful part of our crew. And uh, you don't have to worry about, about slowing anybody down or being in the way. You are going to be, uh, there will, there's definitely ways that you can help. And uh, you'll definitely see when we get there that you're handier than I am. And uh, I'll have no reason to feel bad. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll also show you this picture of Jim uh, not working in 2020. Uh, because when you build a house, you're there with the family you're building for. And they're working side by side with you in 2020. That meant we got to hang out with their kids all that week. And that was so much fun. Uh, she wasn't very good at finishing drywall. Uh, but she loved to help, and she loved to talk to us and being able to spend time with her. her. name was Maria, right? I'm asking Marky. Yeah. We don't, we don't remember. I think it was Maria. Um, but the reason we, we go there is not, not just to build a house, but to, be, to serve these families. And so I just want to show you some of the families that we helped. This is a family we built for in 2020. Uh, uh, just a, a really big family, a lot of kids. They were living in a, in a, in a camper, just a rundown camper um, when we arrived there. Uh, this is the second family we helped in 2020. They're the ones who lived in the house made out of pallets and tar paper. And in 2018, uh, this is Fernando. Uh, like I said, his son Ricardo was in the hospital uh, having surgery done on his brain. Uh, and so being able to work with them and, and to witness to them and to to tell him about our desire to show him the love of Jesus and, and to serve him by building him a house. It's just an incredible moment and an incredible gift. It's something that will change your life. It will change your perspective on life, on how you live, and, and change your perspective on, on serving others. Uh, in addition to working, we will plan on having a little bit of fun on the trip. Uh, so I'll show you two places that you'll go regardless uh, Gary's shaking his head. He's worried I'm going to show a video of him dancing. I will not show the video of you dancing in Mexico, Gary. Okay. Uh, but two places that both tracks will go, and that is Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument. We'll do that on our way in across the border. And then also we get to see the Pacific Ocean in uh, Puerto Penasco there in the Gulf of California. It's just a beautiful place to spend. We'll just spend a moment there. And then on our way out, track one and track two will have the option to join us here. We'll be at Sedona in Arizona. This is a place called Slide Rock Park. It is uh, just a fun river cut through the Sedona Mountains. And you can slide from one end to the other. You can also jump off a 25-foot cliff here if you feel like it. Um, and then we'll spend a full day at the Grand Canyon. Uh, we have campsites reserved on the South Rim. And we take the South Kaibab Trail. That's me running down it, actually, uh, from a place called Ua Point to Devil's Point. And we'll spend a little time there. Um, and then also, uh, just track one. On our way through, we'll see Monument Valley in southern Utah. It's a fun place to go. Uh, so this trip, uh, the cost for this trip, the estimate for track one is $650 per student before fundraising. And so last time we were able to, to lower the costed this trip quite a bit because of your guys' generosity, um, because of your guys' willingness to help us go on this trip. 
and pay way too much at a dessert auction fundraiser. And uh, so we'll fundraise to help our, our youth group students go. Track one, where you arrange your own travel to Phoenix and then go with us, uh, is, um, would be $425. And we, we will not fundraise for that trip cost. Uh, so uh, there are other churches in Iowa that are considering going on this trip with us. Uh, First Christian Church in Ankeny. Uh, Indianola Church of Christ, Carroll Church of Christ, and Rockwell City Church of Christ, and also Countryside Christian Church, but they're Nebraskans from Kearney. And so don't let that stop you from going. They're nice people. Uh, this, trip will, this trip will be really fun. And if you've never been on a trip like this, then you should know that the fellowship that you'll experience with the other Madisonites that will go will be unlike anything uh, you've ever experienced if you've never gone on a trip like this. Uh, but this trip is not primarily about you. Uh, the truth is that there is a family in Mexico today living in a house constructed from tarps and pallets or crammed into a small decrepit camper praying for the day when they will have a home to live in. Even now, that family will have already been connected with one mission, where the gospel is being witnessed to them, and through one mission, this family is being connected with community service opportunities where they can log over 400 volunteer hours over the next several months so that they can be placed on a list to receive a home. While we are getting ready for the trip and getting our passports at the post office and doing fundraisers and planning our travel, this family is assisting other families with the finishing details on their own houses, this family will be mentoring people in their community in skills like sanitation, cooking, gardening, and sewing. This family will be delivering food to the most impoverished in Puerto Penasco through One Mission. And this family will probably be feeding crews at One Mission Base Camp as they come through to build houses for others. They're doing all that so that one day they won't have to lie down in the dirt or worry that their tar paper will blow off in the dust storm. And on the morning of June 3rd, 2022, we will meet that family at the location of their new house. We will build walls and apply stucco while we speak with them in broken English and play with their kids and meet their neighbors. And if we're lucky like last time, we'll take turns holding their baby. Not only will we get to tell them about our faith in Jesus, but we will get to show them an act of loving service that our faith has compelled us to do. So this morning, I'm inviting you to be a part of that. I'd love for you to talk as a family about going with us, and if you're interested in coming along, let me know so that I can keep you updated on the trip. And I just want to warn you before uh, that we are not done I'm sorry. We have stuff to talk about this morning, but I'd like to take some time now to pray for the family that we'll meet in Mexico and the opportunity we have to serve them. Will you pray with me? Uh, dear Heavenly Father, you know our steps and you know what lies in our future. And dear Heavenly Father, you know the family that we will meet in Mexico next June. Heavenly Father, we just take this moment to, to lift them up in prayer. We ask that you will give them safety and perseverance through the months ahead. We ask that you will open their ears and hearts to hear the gospel through the people they're meeting at One Mission, through the fellowship and classes that they have there. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that we can be a blessing to them, that through our service to their family, they will get a sense of how Christ's love has changed our lives and changed our hearts. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray for uh, ease of travel and safety when we go to meet this family and go to serve them. I pray that you will bless the planning and organization for this trip. And I just pray uh, that you will see, see to it that servants here from Madison Church uh, answer the call to serve in this way. 
and to be a blessing to this family in Mexico that we're praying for. Pray these things in your name. Amen. I'd like you to open to John.